What is hold on guy? What is up, guy? What is up, guys? How is everybody doing? It is your boy Jake. Yet again, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload tonight. We got a special guest here on the show. By the way, if you guys want to, or if you don't want to follow me on Twitter yet, at Hudson Jake, patreon.com says Hudson World Order. Now it's time. It's time. Let's meet our guest. He is a he is part of the Dabbleverse, ladies and gentlemen. It's skinny Chad Zumok. What's up, Jake? How's it going? Can, can you give us a little bit about yourself, if you don't mind? Uh, let's see. The first time I guess I, I picked up the moniker Skinny Chad was from uh, DabbleCon when I won the uh, Stutter Off, which was a Stuttering John impersonation contest. They had a Dabble Off where you get up and like one person, and it was in by elimination. So I was pretty much, I guess, last last dabbler standing. Light, 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 <laughs> light, light. This. Yeah, it's more like ah, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, uh, I ha I ha I have a stutter, so yeah. Uh, a little, a little known fact: you and I actually did a show, and you kept asking me about sleep paralysis. Hmm. And no, I don't have any sleep paralysis stories. Yeah, I noticed. Well, it, it sort of became a running joke that I think for like, what was it, 15, 30 minutes? We yeah. were trying to get you to tell your story, but you kept going off on all these other tangents. Yeah. And it was like strictly a spooky, uh, a spooky show that was weird stuff with Andrew, Bobby, and Scott. On yeah, the no by filter the way, with and no filter on Andrew. Yeah, every every Saturday at more afternoon over on uh, No Filter with Andrew and Friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had just uh, uh, started that show, and and what I heard was that 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 they were you know doing a paranormal show, and I run a paranormal podcast, which is conspiracy theory. So of course I reached out to them and and hopped yeah. on for a second. Um, what is the you know I, I hear stories about like you know I'm a big um, I'm a big conspiracy th your conspiracy theory or ghost stories. Yeah, either paranormal. one. Most most people like to wrap them all together. For some reason, true crime gets wrapped up in the paranormal too. For some reason. What's up, Ian Hawk? What's up, Gina Bobina? What's up, guys? Oh, great, Gina. She's gonna probably come and brag about this. No. I know she likes to give us grief online, right, Gina? Yeah, she's um, all excited. She's my. She's a good friend. <laughs> she's 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 a good friend of mine, and uh, and um. You know, I, I believe, you know, I, you know, New Orleans, you know, a lot of people think New Orleans has is, is spooky. There's two two towns that you don't want to be after dark. New Orleans, Louisiana, Savannah, Georgia. Hmm. There's, there's the people, please, the same, there's the most haunted places are in either New Orleans, Louisiana or Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. What was that one place that I think they based the, the Silent Hill video games off of? I think it's like it has like a real burning coal mine under the city and it's like it just turned co to complete ash. I, I forget what it's called, but that's a spooky place also. Yeah. Also, um, one of the things that I've always see, I've always hear about is like the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, I hear about that too, but I I don't know what to make of that. I keep hearing people saying, "Oh, it's a good thing," or "or it's it's a it's a thing that's going on." And then sometimes I'm like, "Well, I don't know about that." I, don't I just know about uh, that, that it's just regular regular stuff going on. I was like, oh, "I don't know. Do you, I can't be sure." What do you think about the Gabby Perillo case? The is that the one the van life girl that got beat up by her boyfriend that got yeah. beat to death by her boyfriend? Yeah, and yeah, and then and the the boyfriend's parents kept him, kept him away from people. Yeah, Doll the bounty hunter was there. Doll the bounty hunter was on the case and all that. I don't think anybody's going to really give anyone up to, to dog the bounty hunter. You know, it, it's it's it, they look yeah. like I guess they were like a pretty tight knit family. Yeah. So who cares? <laughs> yeah, I I followed the case. I even watched Doctor Phil videos about it. Dr. Phil videos to to even the raw footage of dog going to the parents' house. Hmm. And yeah. and 
I want to say this, that I watch a lot of, like, Law & Order SVU. I watch a lot of uh, Cold Justice. You know what Cold Justice is? I've heard about that, where they go through, like, really old cold cases and follow yeah. up on them. Yeah. And um, I remember when they were on uh, TNT. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those cold cases, it's really tough to, to – you don't know what to make of them sometimes. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you were actually one of the people that – you know, by the way, I might be having a guy that um, if you noted in one, of the, in one of the tweets, there was a guy, Joe, who said he might be, might come on Tuesday or Wednesday. His, his son actually had to have a 27-hour – no, I think it was 27 or 30 hour uh, a heart surgery. Hmm. Yeah, and, and then they said his, and then his insurance. Mick. Jake, ask him if he saw the ghost in the movie Three Men and a Baby. <laughs> I've heard about that. <laughs> yeah, that um, it, was, it was Ted Danson had an old, stand in from one of his old movies and he like he put it in the prop or something of there and it was in like it was tucked behind like one of the curtains and then people thought that it was a ghost for the longest time hey can i can i tell you guys something this won't be on patreon this is going to stay on the youtube channel forever because i see i see uh kevin brendan and them putting their all their stuff up on patreon You saw that? No, not really. I, I, I like, I can, I, I only catch MLC live. I'm not much of a, of a Patreon guy. I only follow like so many Patreon stuff. I am so from the Patreon. I was the only member. Ian Hawk. Okay, Ian. <laughs> yeah, I think my only member so far was just you, Jake. Yeah. So I know how that feels. <laughs> I'll go in and, and I'll go in and I'll cancel the member, the, the Patreon if you want me to. Yeah, that's no problem. We'll take care of that. Um, I'm not I'm not asking for the money back. I just uh, wanted to support you. And I'll go right now and I'll do it. My, I'll do it right now. No, you ain't got to worry about it. We'll we'll take care of it. We take care of it. If you want to uh, reach out to me, best best way to do that is just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Although I got to check some of my stuff because like, I, I think it was uh, someone was trying to reach out to me. And then I, it wasn't until I checked the, the uh, filtered messages that I saw that they got locked into my, my spam filter accidentally. So it's, so if I don't get back to people right away, that that's what it is. Got to be careful with that stuff, filters and all that. All right, we'll, we'll 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 focus on it. We'll focus on we'll we'll get it done. <laughs> Off stream, but what is up, guys? How's everyone doing? I have watched Counting Cars actually tonight. Uh, we there's a new new season of uh, WWE Most Wanted Treasures happening right now. What state do you live in, Skinny Chad Zuma? If you don't mind uh, me asking. I'm in Texas. And Texas is huge. And we got a whole bunch of crazy shit here. All right. It's it's also huge as fuck, so there's always something going on somewhere. You know, uh Ian is from Texas. Um Corey Adam lives in Texas. Uh uh skinny, uh not skinny, uh yeah. spaghetti too. John lives in Texas. Scott Scott Fitzpatrick lives in Texas. <laughs> hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Mixing North Carolina. Uh, hmm. We got one Canadian in here. Who's that? Oh, Gina? Yeah. 
Yeah, she 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 seems like the type. <laughs> so, um, aside from the spooky stuff, what else you got Actually, going on? He uh, oh. he lives in. He doesn't live. He lives in Southern Illinois. I got it wrong. Sorry. Hmm. So, what else you got on your mind, uh, Jake? How, I mean, how do you how do you like the Dabbleverse so far? I mean, because it's I, like... I I I love hey, you know how I found the Dabbleverse. How's that? Steel Steel Toe Morning Show. Yeah, yeah. I heard I heard they had a bit of a falling out, and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm taking a. I used to be a huge supporter of theirs. I did a lot of uh, Steel Toe fan art. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, I I actually had a I. Dude, the guy was an idiot. The guy's an idiot. Aaron M. Holt's a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard he got. He, wait, he say he, he uh, Carl. Uh, I didn't. I didn't say anything about Carl. I, I I was just referring to uh, Aaron that I did some some fan art of of them. Yeah. You said that there was a uh, a there was a outage, or talking about me? No, no, no. I said that that Aaron. I guess he some something happened where, like, all of a sudden, like the the all the dabblers were all pissed off at him. I think that's when he he sent uh, Levy the night letter. You know, he, he sent him like that warning. You know, because when he's like finally had it with with Chad, and then and then I guess he couldn't. He couldn't hit hit Chad directly, so I guess he hit the people around him, which I guess were Levy and Shuley and all of them. Yeah, I guess some of the threats and stuff like that. And then when he accused me, hang on, hang on, let me finish. Let me finish. When 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 that happened, my my response was pretty much, you know, I I was really disappointed, and then I pretty much taken a hands off approach to them. So I pretty much, you know, just unsubscribed and just flat out left. And yeah. since then, other steel toe, I guess, refugees have, you know, reached out and we've talked a few times and, you know, it, it, it's a good fun thing. I guess they moved on to fandom with other things and it's like, yeah, it's, um, it's a bunch of drama that I don't want any part of. Hey, uh, let me, let me just uh, tell you this. All right. I was, uh, I was a part of them when they were on Twitch. Then hmm. when they come on, they, and then the whole thing with uh, the, the, the docs, the swatting happened i got accused of swatting them and bob levy and miss chrissy mayer why would i why would i try to like why would i swat chrissy mayer i don't know who she is well i've i've heard i've heard that accusation as well and i don't know what to make of it but but you say you didn't so i didn't do i didn't the only thing i the only thing i'm acute i'm i'm guilty of is trusting somebody Just trust and bother, and I now know not to trust her, him, or his boss, Miss Elisa Jordana. A, 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 a who Botter, guess, hey, guess how old Botter was? The person, mm. I don't Botter, know, he was 14. Hmm, I think I heard about that. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, how that came out. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. what is the what what is this Yeah, that Elisa Giordano, now that's an interesting character. I'm just waiting for her to flat up, you know, murder or fucking what is it? What's his face? Uh Andy Dick. Andy Dick. Yeah. That guy's messed up. You know, he, you want you want to hear something in the back chat? She doesn't she doesn't care. Here's the thing. Leaf King and and Wheezy does all the work for her. She just sits there and does all and, and sits there and, and does like her IRLs now. But her moderators are are complete boneheads. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. You know, it, she really doesn't come off as talented. I guess her her, but what people like the biggest criticism was that she pretty much got away by just screwing her way to the top. Yeah, uh, uh, screwing Benji Bonk from the Howard Stern mm-hmm. show. Yeah. 
You know, by the way, I know uh, two people from Howard. I met Wendy, the slow adult, and I also met Shuli. Yeah, I, I met, let's see, I, when I was at DabbleCon, I met Shuli, uh, Levi, and Mike Morris, and Levi, pretty much Levi, the, the, the whole team, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, get to, I didn't get to take a picture with a jacket like everybody else did, so I guess it was, it was I didn't get to be one of the cool kids, but I had a hamburger, and, and they all signed my hamburger. <laughs> you ate the hamburger? No, it was a it was a pillow that was shaped like a hamburger, and I had all all of the, I had all of WATP and everyone else who was there sign it. Carl, uh, who was uh, uh, did you know that Steel Toe canceled? Steel Toe was actually supposed to be in Rochester, and they canceled. Yeah, that's what I heard. Is that they decided not to come, and I guess the the I guess the rumblings, the fan speculation, is that that. Well, they already got in good with Cumia, so they don't need to they don't need to placate to that audience anymore. And I guess that's what their detractors are, are grumbling yeah. about. But I really don't know. Friday a Friday or Saturday night, Shuli went and played video games on his YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And but it's the same time uh, and also uh Anthony Cumia plays video games now on, on Compound's channel. So I think Shuli's trying to so he's trying to show, like, if Kumia could do it, I could do it better. <laughs> well, they, they, they're they playing, like, Call of Duty, and I guess, well, you know, I mean, that's the popular thing to play, but, you know. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't know what. I've thought about doing it myself, but I don't know. I, I play boring-ass games like fucking uh, XCOM and shit like this. I play, I play, animal, I play animal Crossing and Fortnite. And see, I think I was I was really getting into uh, Gotham Knights. I like playing that. There's like a mode where you just go through the streets and you just stop random crimes and you just beat people up. That I enjoy. By the way, uh, uh, can I tell you, um, there's, Crave Cornhole is my friend Meg's company is Crave Cornhole. If you want, are living in the Concord, North Carolina area, go to CraveCornhole.com. For more information about Crave Cornhole, Mick's been a good friend of the show, and he's trying. He's getting me some good guests, so I'm, I'm promoting them. <laughs> Sounds good. Also, guys, uh, a long one. Uh, if you guys uh, do, also a shout out to my lead moderator, B Curse, over on Twitch, B Curse, uh, Twitch.tv slash B Curse Twenty. And also shout out to the guy who got all my stickers for me, uh, who made my stickers. Uh, Jamie over at Lower Michigan Hiking Camping Adventures. Guys, go check out uh, their great channel. And also, Andrew got 200 subs. <laughs> and also, uh, let me also, if anybody wants to tip the stream and not want to do a extra life thing, do it through Cash App. There's my Cash App. Uh, what is the worst body part you ever had to draw? Mm -hmm. Trying to trying to think. Uh, I remember there was one where where I was like doing like some kind of thing, and and everyone I think it was legs. The I was drawing someone's uh, D and D character, and it was a bear. It was like a doctor. So it was a bear dressed up like a doctor, and I had to draw the the bear legs, and I had to. Yeah. They they just weren't satisfied with them, so I had to keep going back and forth and 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 dealing with that, because I guess you know trying to draw it like looking like not not too squant or whatever it was, but that was just that was a headache. Yeah. With the drawing legs. You know, I love that this show is a is a good show. I know we're we're just getting started. Only people are asking, uh, guys, if you guys uh, want to go check out No Filter with Andrew, y'all. Uh, sorry for interrupting your interview for this. No, go ahead. I, I enjoyed the No Filter show. Plug away. Yeah. Uh, by the way, No Filter Andrew is is where you could find the the shows. So, 
Do you like to draw the pretty French girls? <laughs> yeah. Let's let's see. Yeah, yeah, I've had I like to draw like some ladies pretty thick sometimes. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it sometimes because I like sometimes I draw them like a bit too too slender sure. sometimes and, and it's like muscular and, and it's like drawing a thick girl. I do enjoy um, it every now and then. So that's all right. it. Yeah, um I wanna say this, like uh like there's there's people who try to like say like I said before, and I'll say this again, I like when I do streams where I'm, like, recording them. You know, like, interviews like I'm recording because I'm not looking at chat. But the chat is not, there's no bad people in the chat. I'm not going to, I'm trying to make, like, problem. I'm not trying to make. Have you ever seen that hospital in New Orleans, that abandoned hospital? Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, abandoned hospital stuff, like like the whole ghost hunting stuff. I'm not really into that because it's just a lot of you know yeah. psyching yourself up and then going out trying to trying to make stuff happen. Yeah, I'm it's more into the after people have have the experience and then talking to them about it. Yeah, it's like go have the experience first. Don't try to coax it into happening. Yeah. Um, I see people all the time like. They they confuse the the conspiracy or they they the paranormal with, with like a true crime or any of that. Yeah, there's a lot of overlap. I I understand it, and and especially with you know the 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 bleed over with the psychics helping the police and all that stuff. Yeah, it, it's it's all it gets crazy sometimes, you know. But like, you know, it it. I mean, there is some weird stuff out there, you know, but of course it's really difficult to pin it down. Uh, do you mind if I show something on screen like I showed you in, in the, in the, in the, um, in the backstage area? Go for it. Guys, before you guys say, oh, I'm going to show you guys a little something. This, uh, the, to get you guys ready to donate a little bit the donate i'm gonna hold on it's not showing the damn places hold on are you guys ready hold on all right where's the screen This is Batson Hall. This is one of the Batson. This is the Bat Barry Batson Tower, and it's in the. This is the place that. This is the extra life where we're raising money for. It's the extra life. Is this is one of the places that we're raising money for? This is the second one right here. You see this? All right, all right. Uh, I got something in my mouth. <laughs> all right, hold on. And this is another one. This is the Colonel Sanders Children of Mercy Department. It's actually one of the only thing. It's only one only met Mercy Departments, Children of Mercy Departments in the state of Mississippi. I think. I just wanted to show that. I just wanted to show that so people say, oh, he's taking the money and run with, I don't get none of the money of extra life. <laughs> well, I I'm mean, just, you, you do have a, have, you have some sort, of, sort of precedent of demanding money from people when you show up to their, to their show. So I can see people who are trying to use that and try to rub it in your face when it comes yeah. to like a little thing like this. Yeah. By the way, look what I made. This look at this. It's our custom outlook. <laughs> no cross talk in the chat. <laughs> no cross talk, guys. 
Yeah, I think I'm, when I'm speaking of uh, thick girls, I I think this is probably the latest that I've. Oops, let me get the. Uh, let me see if I can show this here. That's like the latest thick girl that I've drawn so far on the. Well. On uh, on my Twitter. And yeah. right now I'm working on some commission work, which is, you know, I don't have much time, but I, but of the time I have, you know, if I'm going to be spending it anything, might as well talk with you, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I've been mean to you online and stuff like that, but I'm just, yeah. you know, just playing the game. Yeah. Yeah. I hope a lot of people don't like what is cross talk. I remember the metal balls shooting board game. <laughs> crossfire. That's hey. Crossfire. By the way, I got a I got a little something to ask you, brother. What do you think about like, you know, do you use do you, before you had the tablet, do you do pen and ink? Yeah, I used to draw traditional and stuff like this. I use mainly the tablet and stuff. I have a, a Windows Surface Pro. Yeah. And and that's just a, a tablet PC, and I just use that. And I have a Clip Studio on it, and it's really easy to use. And I'll just use that stuff right now because with all the programs and stuff, I, the, the coolest thing about using digital stuff is I don't have to clean up afterward. You know, my, my, my fingers aren't full of black gunk from all the ink and the pens and the eraser gunk getting all over the place and i'm not making a mess with all the the pencil and the lead getting everywhere it's easy cleanup i just close the program yeah um, by the way i'm um i want to ask do you um have you ever like um what do you think about like these artists now they're like they're 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 using like chat they're using like ai stuff to do like stuff well the ai stuff i've seen it, it it looks pretty good it's getting a lot better it used to be crazy with hands and stuff but it's it's starting to develop a thing but what it does is it gets it gets all its references and stuff from the internet so it's pretty much in a small sense, to create its its one piece, it it's a composite of so many other pieces. So there are a lot of other art, influential artists out there that the chat the chat AI is taking bits and pieces of their art and using it to create art. So it's more like it's not just you know oh it's stealing from an artist to create an art. It's pretty much you know quote unquote stealing as in accumulating resources from everyone to to create the art and, and from what i've seen yeah i've seen it it looks cool i like it i get it people have been using it pretty much as like a either as like another snapchat filter or for like you know you know like oh what would this what would this sh show or movie look like except it's based in the 80s or, or some shit like this and and you know i get it i, I just think it's trendy and it's probably and eventually you know people are going to get tired of it yeah you know they, they they got tired of like they get tired of stuff. By the way, guys, um, I just want to say this: I've never had David Chandler in my stream, and David Chandler just gave B Dabbler forty nine dollars. <laughs> <sighs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Sorry for the language. <laughs> You know, right now we are at one fifty-five eighty-nine, uh, and we need uh, right now we need forty-four eleven to hit our goal, and we to hit our two hundred dollar goal. We need money. We need this. I'm very passionate about what I do, uh, Skinny Chad. I was gonna call you Chris, but didn't yeah. wonder. either either one is fine. I answered to both. It's just skinny chat is is that that's what your audience is more familiar with, so that's what I'll go with. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I promoted promoted this a few minutes. Um, yeah. 
By the way, we have eight. We have nine likes right now. And no, we're not doing a hype train right now. <laughs> I'm not doing a hype train because I'm like not wanting. I just don't want to get up and, and get on my desk. Right, yeah, it um, sounded like Chad really pooped the bed when he like yeah. did his drunken stream, and then he's like, he he passed out drunk during one of his live streams. I've heard. Yeah, and he's like, and he was like, and this morning I wake up to a tweet of him like, sh uh, talking about Bob's stepdaughter, and I'm like, hmm. why are you doing this? You you and I also heard he this caused uh, Gino Levy. Gina Levy to uh, cancel her Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I mean that 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 sucks too because she's such a pleasant lady from what I've seen of her. Yeah, I I, I like I, I don't follow oh, her directly. I got, I got gifted. I got gifted a sorry. I got gifted a membership to uh, I got gifted a membership to uh, uh to be dabbler. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's cute. Yay! Yeah, I mean, she she's a pleasant lady, so I could see that really going. Like, wait, I I'm curious as to what what it is that he said. I get it on principle, you know, like 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 you know that he crossed that line, and you know, and and a lot of people, you know, say it's a blurry line or something of that nature. But you know, it's, you, it's, don't, you don't want to you don't want to mess with Gina Levy because Gina Levy. Gina Levy right now is she's a good per she is a good person. Yeah, yeah, and and I guess that's why people are so shocked about it because it was like so it was something like out of nowhere that was completely uncalled for. I mean, if anyone's been one of his allies, it's clearly you know Bob Levy. That's yeah, Bob Levy. Bob one Levy. Of Chad's allies for. Bob uh, Levy actually said he's going to take me on. Uh, he's going to take me under his wing and teach me a lot of stuff about podcasting. And no, he's not going to teach me how to threaten uh, threaten Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that that's a lesson I'd probably sign up for. <laughs> uh, threaten Howard Stern. Yeah. He he said. By the way, he said that he was he was was he was taking Xanax. He was he was getting high on Xanax. He was a uh, Addicted to Xanax when he was when he was there. What's up, TJ Banks? How you doing today? We're on Twitch. By the way, we're on Twitch too. We're live on Twitch. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I'm just we're I'm on, just looking at the chat. We're on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. Yeah, I could Just, definitely, you know, see uh, uh, Gina getting all sensitive about that, and I don't know, I don't know what to. Yeah. I, I know, I know, Gina Bobina kind of disagrees with that. I see her in the chat. She's all, she's all. Eh, I think she overreact. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, Gina. You, you've always been a bad judge of character. <laughs> she, 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 uh, she, she's a, she, she's a, you know, she. Every let me tell you the she's a good person. I know, but uh, she's a fence sitter. She's a fence sitter and and plays yeah. both sides. Yeah, she's so. she's also she's also an awesome person. She's an uh, awesome person, and she. No, I'm not a, that I'm not denying that. She she knows <laughs> when to she knows you know. I, Friday I had a panic attack. Uh, luckily, uh, Daytua and uh, and uh, Spaghetti Two John had to talk me down from a panic attack. Mm -hmm. They had to talk me down from a panic attack because I was having some issues. <laughs> yeah.
Hey, we're hey, we're at the thirty five minute mark. All right. Was there any other topics you wanted to get into? Oh, uh, uh, I want one of uh what uh what other shows do you watch? I know you watch WATP. I know you watch what other shows in the Dabbleverse, in the Chattosphere, and all that. Let's see. Uh, I do enjoy the Shuli Network quite a bit. They they have some good shows. I don't watch all of them. Uh, mostly just the uh, the stuff uh, that that centers around Stuttering John, like the Blunder Years and and uh, the BS Show and uh, you yeah. know the, the Uncle Rico Show. That is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm I'm always catching like other other shows. Uh, it's let me see if I could get into my history to to try to. What about see. Chrissy Mayer? What about Chrissy Mayer? It depends on what it depends on what guest she has. Then I'll right. I'll take a look at it. All right. Because hey, if she, uh, Chris. Yeah. I have a, I have a game for you. Ready to play it? Ready to play? It? I got a game. It's called Professional Unprofessional. All right. Here's how you play. It. I'll give you a name. You either have to say professional or unprofessional. All right, go ahead. All right, first one, Aaron M. Holt. Um, I guess I'd say professional. April M. Holt. Mm, yeah, uh, unprofessional. I don't think she's as polished as 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 Aaron would probably would have liked her to be. Sometimes, Gino Bobina. Oh, unprofessional. Definitely unprofessional. All right. Bob Levy. <laughs> uh, professional. Surely. Uh, professional. Tony Mazur. I, yeah, un, un, unprofessional, I guess. I, I don't know what to make of him. I don't, I haven't seen enough of him to really get Chad. You know, in his case. Chad. Chad Zumach, definitely beyond unprofessional. I put him right there, right right below Gina Bobina. Ray DeVito. Um, yeah, he's a bit wet behind the ears, a bit of a rookie. I'd say unprofessional. I, I don't like him. I really don't. I don't know what Mike the big Morse. deal is with him. Mike Morse. Oh, I like him. He's he's professional. I, I think he's he conducts himself very well. My, uh, uh what Carl Hamburger? Carl, who are these podcasts? Uh, needlessly unprofessional. So much that he's not even any fun sometimes. Uh, I got one. Chrissy Mayer. Hmm. I'd say she she's she works hard, but I I don't know if I would. Yeah, I guess I'd have to call her professional because she's a bit of a she. I, I do like her, I, but I do feel she's on the chaotic side. She's very chaotic. Anthony Cumier. Mm, I'd say professional. He's all Gino, right. I like him. Gino Pascani. Oh, definitely unprofessional. Uh, Opie Greg Opie Hughes. Uh, unprofessional. Me, Jake Hudson. I'd say unprofessional sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I can uh, see that Ian, you're trying sometimes. Ian Hawk. Ian Hawk. I don't know. I haven't seen much of his stuff. I, I, I can't say. Can't give him a fair judgment. Bobby Nick. He seems to be professional from what, what I've run into him. Scott Fitzpatrick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's good professional. Andrew, Andrew Flora. Andrew yeah, definitely Flora. professional. Um, Absolutely professional. Howard Stern. Mm, I'd say unprofessional. He's he's lost the he's lost the mark so far. He's all right. Ke Kevin, he doesn't sell tickets, Brennan. Mm. Kevin Brennan. He's very professional at trying to pass himself off as unprofessional. I'd I'd write him like off as like a chaotic evil because he loves to be the bad guy. All right. 
All right. You know, this is this has been a great show. <laughs> and I think uh, I think you know uh, it's been forty minutes. I think we need to. Uh, can, are, are are we done? No, we could go a little bit longer if you'd like. If you got like another game or some other thing, or, or no, I could go. Uh, I could go for uh, another fifteen minutes. All right, we can. All right, if you would like, yeah, I just I, yeah. Did you well, was like was to, did someone else want to come on? Did I think you said that uh, someone else wanted to come uh, on? I, know, I, I was get, I was trying. I wanted to get Ian to come on and see if he would come on. And because I know he, Ian, uh, what well, wrong one? Sorry, put me pushing buttons here. Me pushing buttons is not good. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I kind of wanted you and me to, to sort of get to talking first before we yeah. threw in some some uh, organized chaos up in here. So I know some of these streams last for like four hours, and those I just cannot stand them. <laughs> I'm not a, like a four-hour stream guy. Yeah, I'm usually um, – a lot of my streams are like short streams, like an hour, because I know a lot of people will hate them. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the the max if it's if it's good like maybe two hours, but the ones that are yeah. like four or five hours, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, just, uh, that's my, just hanging out at the bar. That's all that is. By the way, guys, if anybody that wants to tip the stream, by the way, if anyone if anyone wants to tip the stream, a tip the do you want to do a thing for extra life? There you go. Extra life is a charity that I'm supporting, and don't judge me. <laughs> Yeah, if we're gonna judge anyone, judge Gina Bobina. That's who I judge. Uh, Very harshly. She's she's a good looking person. Sorry. Ah. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. Uh, yeah. She is nice, but I don't know. I don't trust her. Something shady about her. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I did do a, a drawing stream one time. I think I went for like four hours. It was crazy. I, I do want to do some more drawing on my stream and stuff like that because of uh, I got some software where I can like show my screen and then and then I could draw on it. So I definitely it's one of those when I have the time to do it because right now I'm working on commissions and stuff like this and and there's like a, hey, a uh, show going and all that stuff. Ian, I want you to come on. We just did for uh, he, he. We just did forty minutes. Sorry. By the way, Sean is added to the uh, is is added to our uh, group chat on um. Yeah. Yeah, if Ian wants to come on, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just fidgeting with stuff right now, but I'm sorry. Whew. That's good. I I probably got like a maybe another good fifteen minutes on me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to Juno sometime, see what her deal is. I don't trust her. I don't think anybody should trust her. In an interview. <laughs> somebody just went, by the way, somebody just went and beat Adler's chat to say that. To say that what? That that I'm streaming him. I'm not streaming. I, I don't even have his uh, voice up. Yeah, I think I think one of my designs showed up on his T-shirt shop, so that was exciting. So yeah, I got one hey, of the T-shirts with the design on it, so that's cool. Hey, um, hey, would you uh, if I if I give you a, uh, a, you know, we we need like I need like I want to try to you know the logo right there. By the way, I want to give a plug to something. Let me go grab this. 
Um, we are powered by. Hold on. I ha can you point to that dock right there, please? At this right, right, here, right, here. right here. We are power. Uh, this is um, I. I am not. Uh, this is not the free version. This is the paid version. But I'm still promoting them. And the, the link in the description is a link to first to donate to Extra Life. The second one is a stream yard is to basically is my promotional thing for stream yard, stream yard. And if you get the to pay the twenty five, I get a little bit of money out of it. I get a credit. Yeah, that works out pretty good. Because pretty much everybody uses, almost everybody uses StreamYard. Hey, Day 12, how you doing, bro? How you doing, sweetheart? Day 12 actually was here when I was having my panic attack. Is she a uh, spaghetti tooth, I think? No, the different person. Oh, okay. All right. How's it going? Hey, guys? Going? hey you're, 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 in, you're in a different place now. Yeah, this is, I'm actually inside my house right now. Right now, I'm in a uh, my game room. That's cool. I love games. What games you got? Um, PS5, PS4, Steam Deck. Well, it sounds like Nintendo consoles. Switch. That don't sound like games. Oh, well, okay. Games wise, I've been playing <laughs> Rust here. The game collection is just too big to name off. I've been playing a uh, PlayStation Two emulator lately. I've been playing Need for Speed Underground Two. Today. Oh shit! I love that game. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I had some nostalgia for it recently, so I downloaded that uh, Tenchu, the ninja game. Which one? Um, oh shit! I couldn't even tell you. There's so many of them. I downloaded like the biggest. You know, I was going through the ROMs, and I just downloaded the biggest, you know, filed one because I figured that was the most recent that they had yeah, done. Yeah, day two, and. Day two and um and uh spaghetti tooth are two different people. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day two lives in uh Minnesota. Minnesota and spaghetti tooth lives in Houston. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I just want to say that I I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> and by the way, I asked I asked this guy to be on the show, and I. I became a member of his Patreon. By the way, Ian, what the fuck? Well, Jake, I contribute more things than four nine. I saw the email. You get four dollars and fifty cents out of the five forty I have to pay for your Patreon. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Because <laughs> you do more. You you pay twenty five for my streamyard every month. Exactly. So it's like why. Why well, give you four dollars and fifty cents through a Patreon? You know, third party thing. When you just want to focus on YouTube, anyways. Yeah, and and um and I'm like, what I'm thinking about yeah. doing, what I'm thinking about doing is posting that um rant video that I did on my second channel, Jump King. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So that's basically what I'm playing Fortnite, Jump King. Uh, I've been playing that on. It's a big Twitch game. A lot of Twitch uh, stars are playing that right now. Rage. My daughter plays Paw Patrol. Oh. Hogwarts is pretty good. Paw Patrol. And I, I, started, Paw I started playing this Bio Mutant, but that right there, Rust, is my my biggest game. Five hundred and six hours on it. Paw Patrol. Hmm. Paw Patrol. Be there on the double. No job. Hey, TV. how many how many trans people evaporated when you downloaded Hogwarts? Did any of them like just spontaneously combust? Well, the the two that the, I mean, you can make a trans person in the game, and so that's what I went ahead and did just to help everyone else out. Oh, that sucks. You, you can make way, a trans person, and you can meet a trans person in the game. Yeah. By the way, uh, uh, what Bates was talking about is I have an Amazon wish list. Did you put more items on it, uh, Ian? No, I haven't messed with it today, Jake. I had a family day. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I'm actually at my computer desk right now building a little boat for my daughter to paint later on. 
It's really fun. By the way, I wasn't I wasn't stream sniping. Uh, I wasn't stream sniping. Hello. No one thought. No one thought you were. They just figured they could mess with you and try to you know rile you up. That's about. That's all that was. Um. By the way, uh, uh, Daytua said that she would she for she will work on your my wish list before Patreon. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, what were y'all guys talking about? I actually did not catch most of it because I. Yeah, we I, did. Um, go watch it back. It's actually fun. Go watch it back. Yeah, Jake, I'll, I'll go. I'll get right on that. Yeah. Mostly just art <laughs> shit, uh, a little bit of the Chad Zumak drama, and then uh, what? Some spooky shit. Oh yeah, I saw some uh, some photos today from Chad Zumak. That he posted. Yeah. Pretty I wild. Going... Pretty wild. Yeah, I love how his big drama posts are usually him getting his ass kicked or something of that nature or something stupid that he says when he's drunk off his ass. Uh, I really want him to be a good, you know, super villain because I'd hate to have to reband myself to like fake Hudson or something like that. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, this whole fake Ariana Grande thing is 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 completely strange. I'll tell you that. What is that? The the the, where the daughter. The Chad's going after Bob's stepdaughter right now. Oh, okay, all right. And so, yeah, and so we were, he, we he's talking... posting photos of her. Oh yeah, we were talking a bit about that. I thought you meant the the Ariana Grande where people were saying that she looked old or some shit. Because no, 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 no. Bob's out. stepdaughter looks cool. like Ariana Grande. Like it's weird. That's cool. Why the fuck would he? Why, why would he go after her for that shit? He, he's not going after like... for her. He, 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 he said he wanted to jerk off on her photos. Like Bob wants to jerk off on his mom's photos, you know. And that's what uh, started all of it. Yeah. Okay, I see. I it see. wasn't like he said like do anything bad to her. He was like, oh, she's beautiful. Oh, someone's sending me her photos. I want to jerk off on them real quick. Yeah, is it like how old is she? Is she of age? Nine, no, she's an OnlyFans model. Yeah, nineteen. Hmm. Now I can kind of see where Gina's point of maybe she overreacted a bit because if she's in, if she's like old enough and in the game, then you know. I mean that that's it, it's it's distasteful, yeah, but you know, it's it's on the table, so to speak. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, we actually, I actually was showing a video today. She, she th this girl's been famous since she was like 15. She was like a TikTok, TikTok star mm -hmm. and she was doing interviews and everything. And so she's, she, she's kind of been in the limelight of a celebrity, you know, dome for a while. Yeah. So it's weird. Yeah. It, a few dabblers, you know, picking on her. I don't think w would really fuck with her that much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. But if it's one of those things where if you just need an excuse just to get pissed off at someone, that's definitely an opening. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I, yeah. I just, you know, it's more like, it's just an excuse just to get outraged about it. Definitely. Definitely. Because he, he's, he's, he's not finding the faults in Bob and Kevin. He's going after the family. Cause that's what Bob and Kevin were doing. That's what he feels like Bob and Kevin were doing to him. Mm. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, is that I guess as far as from what I've known of Bob, I don't know that he's ever drug his daughter into the into the mix. Whereas Chad, he, you know, that's pretty much his running joke is about how his stepfather beat him and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I think that was part yeah. of his material. Yeah, I think until like two weeks ago, when some like super chatter in MLC was like, "Hey, check out Bob's OnlyFans daughter," and that that kind of threw the whole thing into a haywire. Oh, okay, I see that. Yeah, something yeah, it's like dislabeled or something, you know. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Um. And, and by the way, uh, I just want to say this has been this has been a great show, and I want to say that this has been more not stressful for me because. By the way, I just did a tweet telling people who we talked about on the show today. That's cool. Uh, I've actually got a bounce. I didn't. I was just going to come in real quick. I didn't know what was going on, Jake. So I'll let you uh, finish this out and wrap it up with him. 
All right, All right. Good to see I'll you. Talk, you. I'll, talk, yeah, you I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you. I'll talk yeah, you can to call you. me. You can call me later, Jake. Love you, brother. Bye. Love you too. All right. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty fun. All right, we got about we got about uh, five minutes left. If you wanna um, do your plugs or yeah, just find me at um, Conspire Theory at Instagram and Twitter, and then there you'll be able to find the link tree to everything else that you need, and that's the easiest place to place yeah, to find me. All one I'll, word. I'll grab it for I'll grab it for them. Other than that. Ain't got much going on or, or coming up, so. But I'm but I'm definitely out there. I'm trying to stay active and stuff like this. Trying to record my own podcasts and and get that going on on the audio only front. I'm not much for uh, YouTube stuff. So if if I'm on here, it's usually I'm I'm on someone else's show or, you know, just showing up as a guest spot. Yeah, I'm, and I'll even put your, what I'll do right now is I'll put your link tree in the description for you. Sure, that's that's good. And I just want to say that this has been a this has been a great show, and um, you know, put Chris's links. In the uh, description for you. Chris's Twitter link. I used your real name. Uh, That's fine. Demo. All right. Let's talk about Total BS. Brian And guys, if you guys, um, all right, anything else? You got any final thoughts? No, that's it. I'm, I'm, I got shit to do. But thanks for letting me come on, and and I thought right. that we were gonna have them some talk and, you know, have some fun and stuff. All right, like this. all right. I will, uh, I will, uh, I will do the end by myself, and I will talk. Does Skinny Chad watch Total BS? No, I, no, not really. All right, I will. I will uh, <laughs> talk to you later. Thank you guys so much. I, I'm gonna give my final thought in my in, and I'm gonna end. I have something I want to play before I end. All right, thank you for coming. I'll talk to you later, brother. All right, see ya. All right, guys. Thank you guys very much for coming. Um, I'm going to play a little song for you. And actually, it's a song. What's up, guys? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, uh, hey, 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 by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. By the way, 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 all right y'all thank you guys so much shout out to oj i didn't know you knew, you knew when i did a show with wendy on the from the howard stern show i did a show with her i did tuttle's show with her tuttle had her uh had her uh patrick uh, Total, who I met through Lemmy. Let's talk about Total BS. Brian and Shana in California. They talk topics. They talk everything. Mm -hmm.
the uh, I don't know if it's on on the YouTube. All right, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, we had a we had a great show. This guys, I'll be back later. I don't know if I'm gonna stream tonight after the fact. I know that I'm a little bit tired, but I will. I love you guys to pieces. Thank you guys so much, and always keep the grease side to the pavement and drive safe. Wait, let me find somebody to rate on Twitch. Let's talk about Chad Dumont. Yeah. Brian is in California. They talk topics. All right, guys. What's up? How you doing, Holistic Heritage Homestead? How you guys doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, um... Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to write anybody. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I'm actually done. I'm going to actually try to watch a little, little bit of shows and stuff. Until, until, until again, thank you very much. Peace, love, and cornbread, y'all. Remember, DUI means SOL. And always and always, I love you guys so much. Keep the goose side to the pavement and drive safe. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Bye for now. All right, now I'm at 2,800 watch hours, Sean. I need about, like, I'm at 2,800 some watch hours. I love you, brother. Bye. I love you guys. Bye.